we're we're just here in um, Richard Miles' office. Um, and we're just asking to meet with the Minister for Weapons, I mean, Minister for Defence. Yeah, we're, we're just here very peacefully. We're not going to cause any harm or do any damage to anything or anyone. Um, we're just in Richard Miles's office. He's the current Defence Minister. And I guess we're wondering, is Richard Miles representing the people of Kauaio in my electorate? Or is Richard Miles actually representing Raytheon or Lockheed Martin or Boeing or one of the big US companies? So um, Richard's, one of Richard Miles's electoral staff is here. Um, Richard Miles is not in his office at the moment. Um, do you happen to know where the Defence Minister is at the moment? So Richard is out, is representing the community at uh, a local level and around the country as well as the Okay, so Richard's, um, we won't put you on film. Yeah. So Richard's um, out representing the Defence Minister and car Deputy Prime Minister is apparently out representing the community around the country. Um, but we know, because we've had a look, um, that Richard Miles has met with the US Secretary of State three times in the past three months. The Defence defense, defense Minister. The, defense, the, the US Defence Minister. Secretary of Defence. Uh, Secretary of Defence, mm. Lloyd, Lloyd yeah. Austin. Lloyd Austin. Do you come into the... Yeah. Just, um, just to know that there is an Instagram post of Mr Miles Met many Lloyd Austin, who was connected with Raytheon. Uh, Lloyd Austin is the one perpetuating the war in Ukraine and not looking for peace. So I don't know where Richard Miles is on that. Um, I have my own objections to Mr. Hello. Miles. Uh, hello, to Mr. Miles sending weapons over, or oh, sending weapons and training over to Ukraine, which uh, benefits the neo-Nazi So are you? yeah. Sorry. Are you the journalist? No, no, he's not. No, uh, not no the, the, the Nazi battalions yeah. is, is feeding with weapons and training. So, yeah, I'm not happy with that. Can you hold that one? This is the man who's giving weapons to neo Nazi battalions like IDEA, Right Sector, Azov Battalion. He's wasting our tax money on that. So, Darrell's also a constituent, um, in this electorate. Um, we're wondering oh. if Defence Ministers Thank in you. Australia represent us or do they actually represent the weapons corporations they seem to have a lot of meetings with weapons corporations and i'm just going to go through some of our former defense ministers so it's definitely not in our, our interests what they're doing here, here we have uh kim beasley was the defense minister under a labor government um, and then became um the president of lockheed martin australia so straight from the Ministry of Defence in Australia to the US Weapons Corporation, Lockheed Martin, with a little bit of a... Gap. Ambassador of the US in between. Oh, and ambassador to the United States. In between, in between. So we wonder also what our diplomats are doing, apart from spying on other countries, are they actually there in other countries setting up for more weapons trades? Uh, then we might remember Brendan Nelson, um, who was also a defence minister for a while in Australia under a Liberal government this time. Uh, Brendan Nelson went from being the ex the defence minister of Australia to being the president of Boeing Australia. So Boeing and Lockheed Martin, both huge US companies, like two of the top three in the world, um, selling like Lockheed and Boeing weapons, you can pretty much find in any armed conflict in the world. Boeing weapons and Lockheed Martins are both found in West Papua, um, causing harm to communities there, causing dispossession, causing climate destruction, destroying rivers, destroying forests, and destroying human bodies and animal bodies wherever they go. And headed up by our ex-Defence Minister, Brendan Nelson. And guess what? Brendan Nelson's just got the job as president of Boeing in the UK. International. Internationally. My God, he's in the big time. He's made it. So is the Defence Ministry in Australia a stepping stone to um, the presidency of a giant weapons corporation? Is that where Defence Minister Richard Miles is going next? That's right. I just lift up those um, clips a little bit. 
Rothschild on this space. Lift them up a bit there, he's covering his name. Ah, yeah, I see his name. There he is, Richard Miles. Richard Miles. Is this Miles the warmonger, is it? Miles the warmonger. Where is he going next? Watch this space. And here, here we have another couple of ex-defence ministers. Uh, Christopher Pine was Minister for Defence. From the Ministry of Defence, he very quickly, well, while <laughs> Minister for Defence, he set up very beneficial deals for companies like EOS Australia and Albert Australia. Albert, you may know, is a giant Israeli weapons corporation who market their weapons as combat tested and battle proven, uh, which means they've been used against the people of Palestine. Um, Elbert also sells weapons into uh, West Papua. We have also identified Elbert weapons being used against civilians in West Papua. So Christopher Pine was the Defence Minister, very quickly moved into being a lobbyist for the weapons industry. Uh, Piney represents Elbert. He represents EOS. He re he's now working representing NIA. NIA is the company supplying 70% of the guns and ammunition to Australian police. Defund the police, disarm the police. Um, so Piney's in there helping NIA to make money, sealing a big deal between NIA and Rheinmetall, and looking at setting up a great big factory, great big weapons factory here in Geelong. Richard Miles. What are you going to do about setting up a huge new weapons facility in Geelong? Are you going to say, actually, we want peace. Um, my job as Defence Minister is to scale down the weaponisation of the world and bring about more diplomacy and more peaceful means of conflict resolution and actually get rid of capitalism, which causes most of the conflict in the first place. Are you going to do that, Richard Miles, as a Labor <coughs> Defence Minister? Or are you going to use this as a stepping stone into your position in a giant weapons corporation as the Not other defence ministers have done? So here's Christopher Pine, currently represents a number of Australian weapons companies. Um, Pine really was the architect of the current um, system of defence contracts in Australia. Um, we think of them as attack contracts because actually weapons are about attacking people. They're not like, you know, a shield is maybe a defense, but you know, guns and missiles and stuff, they're really about attacking. And um, Piney is now um, really getting close to Australian Missile Corporation, because of course, you know, missiles are, you know, incredibly expensive, incredibly destructive weapons. They cost millions and millions and millions per weapon and the whole point of a missile is just to blow it up. So it's like, it's the ultimate waste industry. The ultimate waste industry to make something extraordinarily expensive using our money and then blow it up. Boom, boom. So that's, that's Piney representing Australian weapons. Um, another ex-defence minister, this time under a Labor government, was Stephen Smith. Stephen Smith has spent years in the United States Studies Centre and Margaret in Sydney. And Margaret is going to tell us what the United States Studies Centre actually studies. Yes, yeah, so the United States Studies Centre is in the Sydney Uni. It's um, actually, so look at Stephen Smith here. So Stephen has been working there, it's his like post uh, defence minister job was to work at the United States Study Center. It's a sort of a think tank that's supposedly funded by an Australian endowment, uh, um, but it also takes funding from the American Australian Association, the AAA. And uh, we like to remember that by American first, because of course that it's really our foreign policy, America first. The American Australian uh, association is a funder for the United States Study Centre. Uh, these are uh, Pentagon associations, basically. They're, they're organisations set up by big business uh, with the cornerstone, one of the cornerstones being the weapons industry. And you'll see that on their website, 
where they clearly show their um, excitement and support for US weapons companies, such as uh, Lockheed Martin, belonging to our friend over here, Beasley, uh, Boeing, belonging to our ex-Defence Minister, um, uh, Nelson. So what we know about Stephen Smith, um, and we can see, like Beasley, Stephen Smith has just been given the ambassadorship of the UK. So the ambassador, being an ambassador is somehow important in the story. Um, we, we're just ordinary people and we don't exactly understand how this all fits together, but we're just noticing a pattern here. So Stephen Smith has just been, uh, after 10 years post his job, being the, um, he was an ex-Minister of Defence, and he appears to be going to be the next arms dealer. Um, and what we also know about Stephen Smith... Protesting. If you can do it outside the company, outside services, oh, within the office, is that okay? No worries. We won't impede any members of the public. No, we, we think they sort of need to know what's going on. Walk into the office. True. Yeah. yeah. How can you be outside, but the, the office steps? It's a bit confronting. Excuse, excuse me. I sent Richard Miles an email in regards to him arming the Azov Battalion Neo Nazi groups. He didn't respond. So if you're so can let me finish. If you're talking of democracy. Be transparent with the Australian public of what he's doing with Lloyd Austin and other other people in the US uh, military industrial complex. Just be transparent with that with the Australian public, please, and ask Mr. Miles to be transparent, please. Yeah. So, so if you can go outside, though, otherwise, we'll, thank you. Um, if, yeah, we'll be, we'll be a little while. So, so what we what we know is that Richard Miles, in, in terms of this sort of connection between the Australian Study Centre or the, these ex defence ministers, and we're wondering will they be the next arms dealers? That is our question. Is is this an automatic sort of trans transition where you move from defence industry into an ambassadorship into an arms dealer, like the defence ministry? The defence ministry. ministry. It's the Ministry of Defence or Ministry of Attack. So, when we, so that's why we're here saying you, Richard Miles, who do you represent? Who do you represent? Who do you actually represent? Because when I'm the person, I'm a person from Korea, and I, I'd like you to like not meet with weapons corporations as Minister for Defence. I'd like you to um, meet with us and hear our concerns. And yeah, we don't want AUKUS. Uh, we don't want any nuclear power weapons here. We don't want an increased militarisation anywhere, and in fact, we want Australia to stop selling weapons to Indonesia, who use them against Indigenous people. Stop selling weapons to the Philippines, who use them in gross human rights violations. And you no, know, the army could be a source. Of, the army could be great. They send them into climate recovery and climate mitigation. They've got a lot of the skills that they need already. Just disarm them and put shovels and. Um, you know, hoses and get them out planting trees and, you know, yay. Uh, we're going to actually go around to the front of Richard's office now. Um, and, and talk about more will, about these things. But so we'll take a little bit more. We yeah. are in Richard Miles' office right here, Defence Minister of Australia and Deputy PM, asking Richard. Is he going to be the next arms dealer of Australia? Yeah. Who does he represent? Does he represent the people of Australia? Or does he represent... The arms dealers. Who's going to be Raytheon? Raytheon, because that's who he's been meeting with. Lockheed. Okay. They've been meeting. He's been meeting with the uh, the the defence minister or whatever it's called of the US. He's actually been recently working for Raytheon. He's gone straight from Raytheon to being the secretary of defence. Austin. Austin. Mr. Miles, can you be transparent in your conversations with uh, United States Secretary of Defence Lloyd Austin? Please be transparent to the Australian public. Here we are, Richard Miles, Office Federal Member for Corio. We'll be back.